Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 3. Today we're going to have a look at the new Glossop line. Um, not too much to do, I mean I've already driven the uh, 323 so I thought we'd just go straight into a service and uh, let's do this one. Um, yeah, dynamic weather, sure. Have a crack and we'll just uh, have a look through the route. At some point, probably today or tomorrow, I'll do the guards mode scenario. Um, yeah, but let's have a look at see see what this route's like. So again, Manchester, Piccadilly to Hadfield via Glossop Part One. So I presume there's a Part Two as well. Okay, master key on, safety on. First of forward doors on. Uh, GSMR is already on. Headlights today head. They should be on at the back. Yes. And we'll set our door key on as well. So that's the setup done. Same PIS on the inside. Seats look alright. Uh, inside looks okay. Bit, I don't know if there's meant to be things in the in those item frames. Livery looks fine, but I expect that of dovetail. It's the easiest part. And the weathering looks quite nice as well. Maybe slightly more weathered. Traction. I don't want traction. Just leave me alone. No, not emergency. <laughs> um. Yeah, Piccadilly looks all right. It's a bit unusual to have these. Table stayed OHLE bars, but you know what? Sure, whatever. It's realistic, it's realistic. Oh, we got something else coming in on this platform. Are going to couple or what? If they couple, that would be very cool. No, is that it? Yeah, okay, so they're just going to share the same platform. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, not too much going on. I have to say, this station feels less dead than I would expect. Um, there's certainly enough stuff going on. Uh, route map, shut up. Route map, you've got the uh, platforms that go round to, uh, to Victoria. Come round. This is the main line, and we uh, continue around and then up here. So yeah, not too much going on. Uh, let's jump back, set the doors to lock. What is the starting speed? 15 miles an hour. I must say as well that I was... Um, it is nice that there's a uh, loyalty bonus if you already own Birmingham Cross City, and um, which meant that this route was like twenty bucks for me. It was twenty bucks cheaper than most routes are, even with the pre-order discount for other routes. Even though this route didn't have a pre-order discount on Steam, you couldn't even pre-order it. Um, no, no, this one's only thirty bucks, thirty-two bucks maybe with the ten percent off, and most routes with ten percent off are fifty-six bucks. Uh, Australian, so um, <coughs> certainly a welcome change. The pricing model changes. I will not object. <laughs> I doubt many people will. Okay, and we can go up to 25 in a second. Next stop, Ashbreeze. Let's have a look. Going Ashbreeze. Guide Bridge, Flowery Field. Uh, <laughs> flowery Field, who wrote these? Newton for Hyde, Godley, Hattersley, Broad Bottom, Dinting, Glossop. That is the most <laughs> stupid, stupid name. Broad Bottom. Uh, <laughs> broad Bottom and Flowery Field. Okay, we'll go up to 35. 
race the, uh, the 323 over there. Haha. -ha. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if there are any mods that come out uh, for this route, and uh, if they do, I um, will certainly install them if they look worth the money. Uh, not worth the money, worth the um, worth the effort. Right, one station here that we're apparently not stopping at. Interesting. Okay. Maybe it's an abandoned station. Who knows? It got what appears to be a um, some older electrification as well. This looks like it was at one point much larger rail. These cantilevers go way too far out. This was a oh perhaps not. Who knows? Looks like a um. I wonder if we'll be able to go inside this TMD at any point. Looks like it's modelled, so maybe there are scenarios in it. Who knows? Right, we'll get back up to 40. And we've got Ashbury's in 300 yards. How come these are unwired? Are these sightings on wired? That's crazy. Okay. Bit of practice on um, Birmingham Cross City. Definitely helped. Definitely helped. <laughs> Calling at. Guide Bridge, Flowery Field. That is such a stupid name though. Flowery Field. Broad Bottom. It's comical. Right, off we go. Is the line speed 40 or 60? I can't remember. It looks like that um, those sidings on the right were unwired. We'll chill at 40 just because I'm not sure. Looks like there's even more unwired sidings off to the to the left. And this was clearly much larger, a much larger rail yard at one point. You do have a uh, aggregate train. I like the uh, the derelict feel. Very Norman. <laughs> it's a bit harsh. Harsh but true. Yeah, surely we're at six. Yeah, we can go up to sixty. Okay. It's being a bit stupid there. That's 50. 55. <clears throat> and 60. Leave a little bit of power on. You must be running an express service, surely. Surely. I didn't know there were any, were express services on this line. That's nice, I guess. More uh, playability. And we'll just hold it at uh, 60 for now.
other station. This is nice, I like this, cruising through. Got a good line speed as well, I mean, surely one of these express services would be quite an appealing option for people living here. It's a good, good bit of line. And this is the old Woodhead Railway, isn't it? Pretty certain. Okay, and I presume the next station will be Guidebridge. Uh, it's pretty clear as well that this at one point was... Um, that's a very interesting OHLE. Uh, it is pretty clear that this was at one point quad or triple track. Probably the Woodhead Railway had a um, quad track and then it just got stripped back. <coughs> it's probably alright though. I don't think it really warrants a... I mean, I'm not sure if it does, but I would assume it doesn't really warrant an extra track. Okay, we'll go full brakes. That's another unit. Off the brakes there. Okay, break two, break one, break three, doors. Oh, 500 points. Look at that. Look at that. We're still a bit late though, so I've got to try and make up that time. And here's a mile post clipping through the ground, you know, as you do. Off we go. Lovely, lovely. Here's another junction. Again, unwired. Okay, and there's 40 come off. There's yet more unwired sidings on the uh, on the right. But they got the track pulled out as well. They have two. And even more unwired roads coming in from the uh, from the left. Man, this at some point must have been quintuple track. Now I reckon that'll slim back up to um, just a two in a second as well. Anyway, next stop, Flowery Field. What a joke. Right, we'll hold 60 there. Man, those OHLE cantilevers go so far out on that side. And they go quite far out on the right as well. Right, there you go, slimming back up to double track. Stick it back into notch one. Oh wow, look at that, it's a wired siding. Uh, is it? Oh no, it's not. It's even a station. This looks like quite an interesting line. I mean, no, nothing has really offended me about the route building, like some uh, other routes. Break one. We're still a bit late. Are we in the platform? Just. Just. Yeah, got docked a fair amount of points there for that stopping performance.
try and scrape back a bit of time. Off we trot. Next stop, Newton for Hyde. Bodily, Hattersley, Broad Bottom, Dinting, Glossop, and then uh, switch back to um, Hadfield. Right, off we trot. Up to 60 again. <coughs> I reckon this is the. F oh, I guess Birmingham Cross City kind of counts. But this is a very nice um, suburban rail feel. Oh, and um, Cathcart Circle as well. I like how the uh, the manual for this route will say aim to approach the station at 25 miles an hour. <coughs> One of the many routes where that simply will not suffice. Well, the timetables are pretty tight though. There's not much uh, room to uh, catch up on them. That is an unusual colour. Unusual, I think, is the, the word there. I must say that the route building is quite good. Anyway, let's get moving. Next stop is Godly. 0.6 miles. Clearly we're um, at the end of our express service now. over a motorway. That's 50 mile an hour. Go for brakes now. Oh, that might be that might be bad. Will be bad. Ugh. Problems. Sailing through. I mean, that wasn't a, as bad of a uh, situation, all things considered. I do like the ambient car noise. That's quite nice. Where's that coming from? Is there a... Oh, there's another road. Feels a bit... Ah, the route building. A little bit lacking here, I must say. A little bit lacking. It's pretty good at the last station. That's pretty good in that direction. It's just... Yeah, not... Fantastic in that one. Okay, let's get the door set to locked. Let's make the next station stop a bit better. Another abandoned station. Oh, I mean, I don't... Actually, that's the first one that we found, isn't it? Oh, look at how wide this corridor is. Look at that. No, that this hands down has to be quad track. At, uh, all of this must have been quad track at one point in time. <coughs> uh, 
And in we come into Hattersley. Long platform here. Deceivingly long platform. I'm going to Google. Woodhead Electric Railway. Uh, uh, Manchester to Glossop Hatfield section is still in operation. go there we go so this is actually a fair amount of the um i, did, I thought the woodhead line was longer so yeah we go up to hadfield and then there's uh crowden woodhead tunnel duncan bridge hazelhead peniston wortley deep car and then into Sheffield. That's one platform on the left. That's a very long platform. Okay, and we're coming up to Broad Bottom now. Cruise in now. Can't actually find anything on them. Um the original, my God, these class seventy fours, the original Woodhead uh, locos, they look very comical. They're stupidly high double arm pantographs. It's pretty funny, actually. Okay. Close the doors. Off we go. I mean, I can't seem to find anything. But then you get to bridges like these, and these are obviously double track only. Right, cruise at 40. <clears throat> Focus on driving now. Haven't taken any screenshots so far. That's almost criminal. A new bridge. It is a bit of a new bridge. Are we back up to 60? Yes, okay. There 
There you go. This must be very steep. Yeah, one in 122. Not picking up speed very quickly. Uh, something that I've found with these 323s is they've got quite high um, acceleration but pretty low torque. So uh, as soon as you stick them on even the slightest hill, acceleration really tails off. Right. Coming up to dinting. We have a fixed caution. We got the old style uh, OHLE as well. It's a cantilever. It's funky. <coughs> right, so I shall slow down in uh, preparation for a red signal. There is said red signal. Is this approach control or is this just waiting? I'm quite early, so I suspect it could just be waiting. Oh no, approach control it would seem. Maybe it isn't. Why is there a fixed caution there as well. It's a bit bizarre. Okay, well, anyway, over another viaduct. Grab some more screenshots. And single track. into dinting. This is cool. I like this. Lovely, lovely. Okay, and then there's this curve around here, and that goes to, this is the old main woodhead route, and then this is just a bit round to uh, Glossop, isn't it? Clearly second platform, I presume, yeah, second platform over here as well. Was there ever a second platform or a platform on this side? Yeah, I'm not sure. If there was, they've gotten rid of every single possible trace of it. But it's a pretty funky setup to have either one way, because normally you'd expect just one train to come down here and the next train to come down here, but it's pretty funky to have this dog leg with a cab change. It's very unusual. Shut up. Grab another screenshot because this is pretty cool. Very nice. Can you go up to twenty five? Just watch the speed there.
stick my head out the window. Okay, we can get up to 25 now. Go up to 45 in a second. It's pretty quick for a dead end single track spur. Old level crossing. <coughs> And up to 45. Let's do it. I mean, this clearly was double track, but it's a single single station spur so I mean I doubt that it really ever warranted two tracks or oh, especially not today probably did in the past okay there's a fixed uh, caution that wasn't a TPWS brake demand was it what was that Fuck did that? Must have been TBWS. Then that hasn't lit up. Yeah, whatever. Okay, come up to ten mile an hour. Pretty painfully slow. Do you have a time that we gotta be here? No, okay. It's not especially fast, is it? This bit of the route. <coughs> There's too many people wearing stupid backwards caps. I can't take it seriously. And every second guy is wearing a backwards cap. Okay, and let's get the doors open. Set that to neutral, and uh, yeah, we um, uh, can we continue? Return to free roam. Okay, right. Um, what do I want to set these two off? And tail lights to on. I want brake three. You off confirm deregister master key off that should be this cab disabled so I'll come to this one turn on and we'll set this cab up uh, tell lights off you to day head. Bit of Spyrex valve action there. Right, and we'll continue the last little bit of the journey to uh, Hanfield. That's where it is, yes, Hanfield. We are due in, my word, six, six minutes, that's quite a long time just to go, not that far. How frequent is the service? Well, every 15 minutes, that's not bad actually. pretty good okay uh, we should be going 
in 30 seconds. What is the starting speed? Do we go straight up to 40? Of course not. Got a mob of people standing at the uh, end of the platform. And off we trot. And that should be everything. What's the gradient? Slight uphill, so hold the speed nicely. All good. Now that is certainly an interesting OHLE structure, sort of half-assed cantilever. <clears throat> okay, and the back of the train passes that 10, then I know we can go up to 45. Then we'll pass around the back of Dinting. And uh, continue on to Hadfield. Up to 45 now. Don't like having a sunflower on my desk. That's a bit trippy. You, okay, you've got fixed caution. Just watch out for anything coming up. <coughs> right, we're within sighting distance and we're at 25. Signal's green and we got a right hand feather indication. And round we go. Let's hold on to that 25. And there it is. Down to 10. Around the back of Dinting at a fantastic fast high speed you know this is thrilling isn't it wow look at how how speedy this is moving Okay, and we can get up to 40. As soon as the back of the train is over the, uh, the turnout. No, we'll call it back of the train. Actually, no, I can't see anything out there. Right. There we go. 40 or 45? 40, okay. Anything's better than 10. But we do have 15 in a little bit, which I'm not particularly happy about. But yeah, what can you do? 
What can you do? There you go, bit of break. It's fine. Bit of power, come on. There's loads of fixed cautions around. Right, I'm expecting this is also a fixed caution. Yep, there it is. Obviously paying attention to the speed limit. Yes, a fixed caution is really just network rail not being bothered enough to um to drop down an actual repeater or a distant just even like a banner too hard too hard too hard I mean it's such a low traffic line and speed limits are low anyway it probably doesn't really matter Ah, oh, not paying attention. Right. Oh, that's close enough. So I reckon not a bad route. Um, yeah, certainly could be better, but um, not bad. Especially considering it's got a reasonably low price and it's 10% off if you own Birmingham Cross City. So, um... Yeah, if you, if you want it, buy it, I'd say. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.